Well, hello. Today I'd like to welcome you to another rodeo. Tonight we're going to look at two of my favorite pens, the Pilot Custom 823 and the Aurora 88. The modern version because vintage Aurora 88 wins over them all. So let's take a look at them. All right, so this week, the long-awaited rodeo, where I compare the Pilot Custom 823, one of my favorites, to the Aurora 88, also one of my favorites. And just as a preview of coming attractions, next week we're going to have a rodeo of the Italian Stallion. So these two will be there. Yeehaw! So, uh, just a quick look. What I have here, I don't have a fine point... Aurora 88, so I had to use my flex, but it's, it's a fine flex. I do have a broad Aurora 88 and a broad Pilot Custom 823. So let's take a look at the Pilot Custom 823. We'll use this one. And by the way, I am experimenting with new lighting. Uh, one thing I already see is I need to adjust the white balance, but I'm not going to do that tonight, so just live with it. So this is a, a Pilot Custom 823. They come with a ball clip screw on ca uh, cap the uh, filling mechanism is a vacuum filler always exciting so you pull this out push it in and ink snorks into the pen once it reaches that point the nib on these pens whoops need some more light we need it to stay on gold 14 karat nib a little bouncy not flex nibs very high quality pen and it's been winning my rodeos so far. The Aurora 88, similar cigar shaped body, ball shaped clip, but a little different. Open it up. It's a piston filler. So we'll screw it down here just so you can see it. A little more traditional and easy to understand. As far as the nib, this is a flex, but it's a flex fine. And Aurora and Pilot both make their own nibs. I'm not 100% sure if the feed is ebonite or uh, plastic. Don't really care. But there you go. <clears throat> Just look at them from a distance. We'll put the two side by side. So the Pilot is a bit longer capped. Oh, maybe stop stretching there. <laughs> we'll screw in the blind cap. Yeah, it's still longer capped. Uh, uncap it. I don't post. I'm not into that kind of thing. So writing with them unposted. Whoops. Where now they don't have a clip to help them stop from rolling. Doggone! Slippery buggers. Uh, <laughs> they're about the same length. I would say that the Aurora 88 is a bit girthier, although it definitely has more of a taper in its section. I'm not sure. But overall, a girthier pen. Uh, just briefly, just for the sake of completeness, my other Pilot Custom 823 is uh, the Smoke Finish. has a broad nib, also 14 karat. Actually, I didn't look how many carat this flex nib was. Probably 14 carat. Yep, 14K. This Aurora 88 is a broad nib. This is the Giove finish. Jupiter, for somehow. This has a more traditional Aurora nib because it's not flex. Come on, autofocus. So there you go, more swirls and curly cues. And it's an 18 karat gold nib, so there's more gold in it, so that'll make it less flexible. But otherwise, basically the same pen. Uh, so, for my next few comparisons, I'm going to be using Roar and Klingner's Blue Mar, because I'm trying to burn through ink. So, let's just see the dramatic... vacuum filler in action. We'll tip it as far to the side as I dare. Hear the bubbling? And there you go. 
Uh, if I want a completely full fill, which I don't think I do at this time, I would tip it upside down, pull the plunger out, push it in until ink starts to come out around here, then I'd put it into the ink and finish filling it the rest of the way. Uh, when we fill an Aurora 88, it's just a simple matter of screw down the piston. Well, actually, let's put the piston in it. Screw down the piston. Got some nice bubbling. Screw up the piston. And this pen fills very well. It's a very smooth acting piston. And I usually let out a drop or two of ink. Your mileage may vary on that. I don't know if it does any good, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something. Okay, same thing for this pen, although it's very hard to see. This pen to see inside of it, you just about have to hold it up to the light. Vacuum filler. Yeah, baby. And, you know, that's pretty much the drama of filling these pens. And now that it's filled, who cares that it's a vacuum filler? Now all I care about is how it writes. Holy cow, have I taken that ink level down a long ways, too. Okay, and this one. Heard some bubbling. Yeah, not bad. All right, so like I said, I need to work on the white balance, but not tonight. I want to get this video out. Uh, so what I have here, uh, the Pilot Custom 823 Fine, the Aurora 88 Fine Flex. One strike immediately against the, Aurora, uh, the Pilot is I have to do this. I have to unscrew the blind cap for a long writing session. Short writing session, we're okay. Uh, the ink in this case is Aurora and Klingner. Blue Mar. So we're putting a German ink in an Italian and a Japanese pen. One thing I'm noticing is there's definitely more feedback on the Aurora 88. Uh, ran out of room on the screen there, so we'll just put it below. Oops, we don't have any in blue. English we do, but not in whatever language that's supposed to be. <coughs> French? Don't know. Ron Klingner Blue Mar. Uh, Flex. By the way, I've often said, you know, I prefer for a daily writer type of pen, the slip cap, but if it's a screw cap like these, you can just do this. Just don't forget you did that. <laughs> Flex. Now, hardly a flex nib, but definitely some flexibility there. Wetness and flow. Handled pretty well. Wetness and flow. I like the feedback on this Aurora 88. You didn't see that, but it did very well. We'll jump to the smear test. screen. Nice and wet. Aurora 88, I will bet, will be wetter. The Aurora 88 is really showing the sink off well. Oh yeah. And 
reverse writing. There we go. Kind of a scratchy ultra extra fine that's really faded and disgusting. One thing I'm liking with these new lights is I'm not seeing... Ew, that's just freak nasty. <laughs> I don't even have a good word for it. Freak nasty, that's what we're going with. <laughs> um, and then uh, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. But anyway, I'm not seeing the shadows like I did with the other lighting. Nice. Okay, so I'll say this about these two pens. The Pilot feels more substantial. I think the Pilot, well, I know the Pilot is generally better on lower quality paper because it's a little stingier with the ink. The Royal 88 is a lot more fun. That's a fun pen to write with. Uh, so who's going to get the edge here? Depends on the purpose. I'm going to give the edge to the Aurora 88 because it's fun. So let's see if the same thing holds true for the broad nib. So we've got same thing, Pilot Custom 823. we got to unscrew the blind cap. Clearly makes a much broader line than its neighbor. Check out the pictures if you don't believe me. And then for the Aurora 88. Definitely more feedback. Not as broad, surprisingly. Of course, the same ink in both. There's no way that was all going to fit on one line. And with the Aurora 88. There we go. Uh, see, Flex, I'm not expecting it really from either pen. A little bit of bounce here. I mean, not enough that you see it. It's just something I can feel. And some line variation. Very nice shading. This is a wet pen. The Aurora 88. Also some line variation. Uh, and definitely showing off the shading of the ink. Then we get to wetness and flow. That's a very wet pen. On the Aurora in 88. Doesn't have as much bounce. You know, it's a 18 karat versus 14 karat nib. <clears throat> Smear test. And with the Aurora 88, let's get over here so you can actually see it. Spear test. 
smear test, not sneer test. Okay, spread further for whatever that's worth. This isn't a very scientific test, so, you know, make of it what you will. Then we get to the reverse writing test. Okay. I said the other one was freak nasty. I take that back. That's freak nasty. <laughs> that was horrible. And the Aurora 88. Much better at reverse writing. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. I think the pilot did very well. And the Aurora did very well. So which pen am I going to give the edge to? So neither of these necessarily disappear in my hand. The, the nib is too broad for that. Uh, so for these pens, it's more about the, the fun of writing. I think the Pilot Custom 823 really shows off the ink a lot better. So that's more fun. So, I guess we split the difference for the fine. I like the uh, Aurora 88 Flex Fine. To be fair, I think it would be better to use like to like. You know, to actually use an Aurora 88 Fine Nib. But, you know, I'm not really willing to splash out $500 on a pen right now. So, won't be doing that. Got to build up more channel income. So... Watch more videos, get me some advertising dollars. Uh, let's just close with a few quick looks. So we're going to do some horizontal strokes, then some vertical strokes, and then who knows what. And I'll do them in the same order that I did the tests. So, Pilot Custom 823 Fine. Aurora 88 Fine. You know, with a flex nib. Pilot Custom 823 Broad. Aurora 88 Broad. And we'll do the same thing going the other way. Pilot Custom 823 Fine. Aurora 88 Fine. Pilot Custom 823 Broad. And Aurora 88 Broad. So on the whole, we have good pens all around. Which one do I like better? Like I said, it kind of depends. You know, for just plain, ordinary, everyday writing, the Pilot Custom 823 is the winner. But as for a pen that's enjoyable to use, for the fine, I have to give it to the Aurora 88. Uh, for the broad, I have to give it to the Pilot Custom 823 because that's a fun pen. So there you go. All right, so that was the Aurora 88 and the Pilot Custom 823. I honestly was kind of afraid that the Aurora 88 would lose. And in the battle of everyday carry, disappear in your hand type of pen, yeah, it does. But my golly is that... Aurora 88, especially with the flex nib, fun to write with. So that's why it won in the fine nib contest. Because if you're doing serious writing, you shouldn't be thinking about the pen anyway. So if I'm thinking about the pen, like in a review, that's why I gave the edge to the Aurora 88. Uh, with the broad, I honestly expected the Aurora 88 to come out wetter. <laughs> it didn't. Uh, it didn't come out as broad as I expected it to. I honestly expected it would be broader than the Pilot Custom 823. Now, I knew that Aurora nibs tend to run fine compared to their European counterparts. I just didn't expect that much. So, uh, yeah, I guess I got the best of both worlds out of this. Uh, I'll just mention I included 
new lights in this. You can't see them. They're off screen here. Uh, I'm liking them a lot better in a lot of ways. I liked the effect on the page when I was doing the writing sample. The drawback that I have at this point that I'm still working on, uh, I need to adjust the white balance. It's not there yet, and I, I need to get into my manual to figure out how to do that because I have forgotten how to do that. So uh, that'll be a project for me later this week when I don't have videos to film. So I wanted to get a bunch of videos in the bag tonight. So that's what I did. But let me know what you think of the lighting. Uh, is there anything weird? Um, I'm liking that there's less garish shadows. Yes, I see a shadow of me over here, but... Well, well you know, what do I do? I, I'm in a small house. I'm going to be by a wall. I, I cannot get away from walls in this house. There is no large room in this house, so you're just going to have to live with it. Uh, but as far as the pens, let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite between these two? And next week... We're going to do a battle of the Italian stallions. I almost brought out like, I, I almost brought out a bunch more Italians, but I'm going to limit it very unscientifically to the Delta Dolce Vita masterpiece because it has a medium nib. Uh, I'm going to do the Visconti Homo Sapiens because it has a medium nib. The Aurora 88 with the broad nib. Because it's very, it's not a very wide broad nib, so I think they'll be similar. I thought about including the Omas Ogiva, but it's no longer made. I know Delta Dolce Vita masterpiece is no longer made either, and neither is the Palladium nib on the on the Visconti. So sue me, but <laughs> I, I had to stop it somewhere. So I, I just thought those three pens are going to be my stallions next week. So, well, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.